Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at this bottle here. This is Duclaw Brewing's Colossus. And this is the 2014 edition, guys. And they had a little issue going on. This is supposed to be their biggest beer. And they're usually in the 20% and up range on this beer. But uh, they had a little, little thing happen on the 2014 edition. Let me read what's happened here from Untapped. Uh, this one's only 17.3% where they're typically 20% and higher. They've only brewed this beer a handful of times. Uh, it said here, as we set out to top the ABVs of our previous Colossus brews, 21% ABV in both 2006 and 2010, we gave ourselves the additional mandate of cutting the perceptive sweetness of the previous batches to create a tastier flavor profile and a more drinkable Colossus. While still perceivably, perceptibly sweet, Colossus 2014 is less cloying than its predecessor, with vibrant flavors of apple and peach, accented by notes of cinnamon and balanced by its monster ABV, but how high is the ABV? In early August, without warning or explanation, the yeast abruptly stopped fermenting the sugar at an ABV of 17.3%. It was a humbling reminder that despite all of our knowledge of uh, of uh, brewing science, all of our painstaking attention to the craft, brewing, uh, craft and all of other previous uh, successes, we are still at the mercy of a tiny single-celled organism with no agenda. So this was kind of a hiccup in their plan, uh, uh, but they still thought it was tasty enough to bottle and go ahead and put it out. There was no sanitation issues evidently or offing off put flavors or, or aromas from the beer the yeast decided it was done and it didn't get up to where the ABV that they was hoping the pre the predecessors and the ones they've done since then so maybe they figured out what they did wrong or whatever but anyway this one's only 17 percent when I say only 17.3 percent that's still a whopping monster beer guys uh, so uh, if I had to go ahead and bring this out, I am going to tell you I'm probably going to give most of this to the other half because 17.3% the calories in this beer are off the chain guys and I just don't need to drink a 17.3% by myself. Uh, still trying to lose some weight for the old heart condition so uh, we're going to give it a we're going to give it a taste and we're going to give it a final chug anyway and uh, let's see what we got here guys. Uh, We've got the ABV. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed either on the bottle or either site. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. So this time, let's get it open. Uh, and like I said, I was able to uh, buy some of these beers uh, at one time. Uh, they are still some of them that are available, we, but we don't get everything these guys uh, do, I don't think. Uh, and you can't find them at the Kroger's uh, stores or the, the little gas stations that sell craft beer. You actually have to go to a uh, craft beer store to get these kind of beers from this brewery. But anyway, to the glass we go. We're going to pour this fairly aggressive since it's that monster of a beer. So straight down the center on that one there, guys. It did have a little junk in the trunk, so it does have some sediment going on in there, and there are some floaties in that beer. So, it is what it is there, especially when it's been setting since 2014, and this is 2019, so 
You got the fingers, count them up. You can see that's been five years ago. Let's get it to the nose. I'm getting some hints of some apples. Maybe just a little alcohol, but not much for the 17.3%. It's got a fairly sweet aroma to it. It is a uh, darker amber color, but guys, there are a whole lot of junk in the trunk on this beer since it's been setting that long. Well, let's give it a taste and see what we're getting on the taste. Cheers. It has a hot taste to it, but not a burning alcohol taste too much. I can still tell you're drinking a big beer. Now, I haven't had any other Colossus that I can recall. I don't think I have. But this is a great big beer. One you should drink at home uh, or have a designated driver, guys. I say this all the time on these monster beers like this. You shouldn't drive after you've even had one of these because that's enough with this much alcohol, especially the others. Uh, they're telling me here on Beer Advocate uh, the 2006 was 20% ABV, uh, 2011 was 21.92, 2014 is 17.3, 2015 was 21%, and the 2018 batch was 20%. So, all monster beers, the 2014 batch is this one, was the lowest ABV at 17.3. almost has like a candied sugar taste to it but it does have a hot quality to it almost like a liquor a little bit a little bit of a bite but it ain't a bitter bite to me it's just alcohol but it doesn't smell or taste boozy so if that makes any sense at all but I am getting a little bit of apples uh, maybe a, just a small hint of cinnamon kind of a unique beer especially probably this one in 2014 version since they had a hiccup there and it didn't ferment all the way out where they was planning for it to do so well let's sip on this and give her some and we'll come back and do the final show all right guys i'm back got a little left here uh decent beer guys i mean but these monster beers just don't seem to impress me as much now as they probably once would have uh, I don't I don't need a 17 to 21 percent beer to enjoy a good taste of a beer once it gets to that magnitude it's usually just too hot or too boozy or, or too something uh, for me to enjoy it guys uh, uh, that's another reason why uh, like the uh, dogfish 120 doesn't appeal to me uh, uh, I've yet to find one even though I've cellared them uh, uh, to be a tasty beer to me guys uh, especially uh, that beer the dogfish beer I mean that's uh, if they're calling it a, a, a double or a triple or even a quadruple uh, IPA it just doesn't have the qualities that I'm looking for in an IPA guys I don't need an IPA that just tastes like booze and same for this. Uh, Duclaw makes some very tasty stuff. I prefer a whole lot of other things I've had from those guys rather than this one. And this one is the lowest ABV version of Colossus they've ever done. So I have no desire for a 20 or a 21 uh, or plus beer. Uh, that just doesn't appeal to me, guys. I want beer. I drink craft beer for the taste, not for for it to knock you down in the damn dirt to make you shit face on one beer. Uh, that's not why I drink craft beer. I drink craft beer for the taste. And once you get into these monster ABVs and they brew these beers just to be different and say they brew that big of a beer, uh, which doesn't impress me. It doesn't impress me at all. Does to, probably does to some people. I mean, if you want to get in the hammer lane fast, I mean, you could drink a couple of these and you would be there. No doubt about it. So, uh, other than having a little bit of apples and cinnamon in it and a, and a hot boozy, I don't want to say boozy because it really doesn't taste boozy. Alcohol is very well hidden. It's a well-made beer, guys. Don't get 
get me wrong it's just not my cup of tea it doesn't blow my hair back or my socks off because they brewed something of this magnitude it's not super boozy or or super burning down the throat uh, like liquor would be so eh, to each your own like i say beer tastes are very subjective what i may love you may hate and what i do don't like or do not like uh, you may absolutely love so don't base this beer on what i'm saying you may absolutely love it it may be best thing you've ever tasted doesn't blow my hair back at all so with that being said like i said i gave most of it to the other half we're going to do the final chug and it has a whole lot of floaties in it that i am not a fan of either but they're not going to hurt you i'm just not happy looking at a beer that has a bunch of stuff floating around in it in this particular style which is an american strong ale final chug It is, it is well made, guys. I will tell you that. I've had boozier beers uh, with half this ABV. So if, if this is a style of beer and you like that magnitude of an ABV, uh, I don't remember what I paid for this beer because I'm pretty sure I bought it back in 2014 because uh, I don't have a sticker from before somebody has sent it to me. Uh, but, you know... Uh, to each their own is what I say on this beer. Uh, to me, guys, this is a B beer, and that's where I'm going to put it. Uh, it does have the vintage on it, and I do appreciate them, and, and they are uh, telling us what that vintage is uh, here on Beer Advocate. So give it a whirl. I mean, and if you see one, pick it up, give it a try. You may love it. You may absolutely think it's the best thing you ever had. These monster beers just don't, don't blow my hair back or my socks off anymore. So, uh, I, I would prefer a Bell's Too Hard a Day or, 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 or uh, a New England style single or double IPA over something like this. So, but that's just me. Or even a, a nice Imperial Stout. Uh, I can think of a bunch of them uh, that I would prefer over something that's just super heavy in ABV just to be super heavy in ABV. So, if you've had the 2014 edition of Colossus from Duclaw, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the bridge.